there was to be additional support. Arriving back in the country, the Foreign Affairs Minister held a press conference to highlight PNG's position and stance with other member states of the UN. Minister Pato told media personnel that the UN is keen to address PNG's development goals with specific emphasis on issues surrounding the Manus Asylum Processing Centre and work in Bougainville. But Minister Pato says necessary steps will be taken to see how effective foreign aid is working in and around the country through different programs. We are working in the government's uh, programs to accomplish the Millennium Development Goals and all of the agendas of the uh, United Nations uh, post-2015 uh, because there is a specific agenda of the United Nations uh, from 2015 uh, forward. He said the whole idea is to connect PNG to the world by aligning aid to PNG government's development agendas. The minister also held talks with the U.S. President Barack Obama, U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and other colleague ministers. He said all these has triggered more exposure for PNG. Meanwhile, Minister Pato says both the PNG government and Fiji are disappointed with the material published in one of the dailies containing misleading information on Day Meg Taylor's appointment. So this report in the media, I'm not sure where they got it from, and uh, he was uh, he was you know quite uh, disappointed and disgusted that the media was able to report. Mr. Pato said employment visa arrangements for Taylor are in progress before Mr. Pato accompanies her to take a post and connect with the government of Fiji. Jack Lapave Jr. National MTV News.